Here we have $8,000 to invest and we'll invest into an account that pays simple interest at an annual rate of 6% for eight years. Simple interest is the key here. This means that the interest amount is fixed every year so we get the same amount of interest no matter what. And that amount of interest is 6% of the amount that we invested, $8,000. So we can put this into the table in Excel. First, we need to figure out how much interest are we getting each year. So let's figure out what is 6% of 8,000. We can just use Excel to figure that out. We'll do an equation. So equals 6% uh, of 8,000. So 0 0.06 times 8,000. We hit enter. And so we'll be getting $480 each year in interest. So let's start with our balance at year zero, which will be the $8,000. That's our initial balance. And then the amount of interest that we're going to be getting is $480. Now we're going to be doing this for, it says eight years here. So we can type each year, zero, one, two, three, or we can just highlight with the thick white cross. You click and drag, let go. And then you can fill drag with the green box right down here. And you just click and drag all the way down till you see the number on the right it says eight. So we're doing this for eight years now. And all we have to do is just add $480 to our balance from one year to the next. So each year is going to have the same amount of interest. It's going to be $480. So we can fill drag to $480 all the way down. So it's a fixed interest amount each year. And then the balance for year one is the previous year's balance. So that is C2. You see it's highlighted plus... We could use the reference B3 since it's always going to be the same. Let's just say plus uh, $480. And we hit enter. And we see we go from 8,000 to 8,480. And then we can just drag fill this down. So click and drag the little green box. And then this is our ending balance. After the eight years, we will have $11,840. And if you would like to make the table look a little bit nicer in the context of the problem, since we're dealing with money, we can tell Excel to type our values as money. So if we just highlight, let's say the balance, and we want to change the number type in the cell, it's in this section here under the home page number. So we can click this drop down menu where it says general, and we have all these options. Uh, I like to use the currency one, which is this one right here. We click that and they all turn into money rounded to the nearest cent. And we can do that same thing with the interest gain. You just highlight all those and then click the drop down menu and click currency. Now we can see it all as money rather than just random floating numbers.